The story begins today by saying after Oswald's death, Margaret went to Embankment Station to hear his voice. So he's gone. He's died. And so she can't talk to him every day. So I guess this is kind of a way where she can still、oh. listen to him. He can still kind of be alive in a certain way. Now, the opposite of alive is death. And that's our first word power word for today. It is spelled D E A T H. Death means the end of life. For example, we could say Ryan is still sad about his mother's death. Ryan is still sad about his mother's death. 第三天，我们就回到第一天一样的时间点。在先生过世后 ，Margaret 会去这个车站听他的声音。Death 这个字是 die 的名词，表示死亡。这个用法比较搞混哦。平常呢，如果说是某某某人的死亡过世，这个会接在所有格之后，比如 Oswald's death， 或者像例句中 Ryan 在为母亲的过世还是感到很难过。All right. Next, the story says when Oswald was an actor, he recorded the "Mind the Gap" warning.、Ah. Okay, yeah, this is、uh, one of the warnings that we talked about before. Mind the gap. Hear it a lot. Yeah, that just means you know, watch out for the space、mm -hmm. between the platform and the train because you don't want to fall down there. You get stuck,、yeah. and then all kinds of bad things can happen. So he was the guy that says "Mind the gap," and I guess she was <laughs> waiting for that message all the time. 昨天就提到 Oswald 这个演员也曾经是个配音员，所以生前的时候呢，就有在很多地方留下自己的声音嘛，包括在这个车站里留的这句 Mind the gap， 注意月台间隙的这个警告的宣导。Okay, so she was going there just waiting for those three little words. Mind the gap.、Uh, that's that's pretty extreme.、Uh, she must really want to hear his voice. However. His voice was suddenly gone one、What? day. Oh no! Okay, so she goes to the station, and suddenly, quickly, unexpectedly, it's not there. Yeah, the voice was just gone. It says transport for London replaced it with a digital recording. Okay,、Aww. so they had a voice, a real voice,、mm -hmm. Oswald's voice, saying "Mind the gap." They、yes. replaced it with a digital recording. Digital just means it's not a real voice. It's、no. a voice that is made. By a computer, it's a computer、oh. program. It's not a real human voice. How do they do it? It's like made by a robot. Yeah, I guess it's like a robot voice.、Uh, oh. They can just make it say those words. They can program it to do that. So his voice is just gone, and now it's just this kind of robot digital voice saying "mind the gap." So. She can't hear his voice anymore. Oh, this is also quite a few words. We can slowly look at it. So first, in this article, his voice was gone. Be gone means go missing, not gone, lost. Suddenly, one day, he heard the sound of Oswald's voice. Suddenly, one day, he heard the sound of Oswald's voice. Suddenly, one day, he heard the sound of Oswald's voice. Suddenly, one day, he heard the sound of Oswald's voice. Suddenly, one day, he heard the sound of Oswald's voice. Suddenly, one day, he heard the sound of Oswald's voice. Suddenly, one day, he heard the sound of Oswald's voice. Suddenly, one day, he heard the sound of Oswald's voice. Suddenly, one day, he heard the sound of Oswald's voice. Suddenly, one day, he heard the sound of Oswald's voice. Suddenly, one day, he heard the sound of Oswald's voice. Suddenly, one day, he heard the sound of Oswald's voice. Suddenly, one day, he heard the sound of Oswald's voice. Suddenly, one day, he heard the sound of Oswald's voice. Suddenly, one day, he heard the sound of Oswald's voice. Suddenly, one day, he heard the sound of Oswald's voice. Suddenly, one day, he heard the sound Hear the recordings. What is she? What is she going to do? Well, let's find out.、Uh, she must really still want to hear her former husband's voice. It says when Margaret asked for a copy of her husband's recording, TFL was touched. So she she wants a copy. Here we see a phrase, ask for, and that's also our word power word. We spell it A S K ask, and then for F O R. To ask for something means to make a request for something like advice or for information or for something you need. For example, I'm going to call the front desk to ask for more towels. I'm going to call the front desk to ask for more towels. 所以 Margaret 呢，希望可以要求拿到这个她老公的声音档啦。Ask for something 表示要求、请求。像例句中这个打电话到柜台 front desk 要求更多的毛巾。So she asked for the copy, copy like copy and paste copy machine. Copy? Kind of like she wants the file, so she wants、uh -huh. to have a version of it that she can take home. It'd be the same as the recording, so it'd be exactly the same. It's her husband's voice. Copy is our next word power word, and it is spelled C O P Y. Copy just means a version of something that is the same as the original, like a book, a magazine, or a movie, a DVD, etc. For example, the writer gave me a copy of his book. The writer gave me a copy of his book.
Copy 可以当动词，比如说 Can you copy the sentence for me？ 可以帮我抄一下这个句子吗？或者是做报告常常用的 copy and paste， 就是复制和贴上。今天的文章里呢，我们是当名词的用法，表示副本、拷贝，就是一模一样的一份档案啦。比如说例句中，就是说作者给了我一一本他的著作。And T.L. f e l l was touched. Wait, who touched it? Uh, in this case, touch doesn't mean like to to touch somebody,、yeah. like to physically touch somebody. It means you have some sort of emotional response because other people have shown some strong emotion. So、mm -hmm. she is asking T F L for a copy, and they're very touched by this because she feels very strongly about just hearing her husband's voice. So because she feels so strongly about it, then they also feel the same way. That's what、oh. it means to be touched. By something, it means somebody else has strong emotions, and it makes you feel strong emotions too. 嗯、um, ，touch 在这里是形容词，表示感到感动的、动容的。所以，比如说什么什么电影让你觉得很感动，就可以说 ，Oh, I was touched by the movie, or the movie was touching. That's right. We can say it was a very touching story. It was very emotional. So, what did T F L do? She's asked them for a copy of the recording. Well, it says they sent her a C D and started using Oswald's recording again. So、wow. she gets her own CD, her、mm -hmm. own copy of the recording. So she doesn't have to go to the. She doesn't have to go to the station every day. day.、Uh, I guess that that takes up a lot of her time. And they also started using Oswald's recording again. So they took the digital recording, they got rid of that, and Oswald's voice was back on the air. Oh, that's touching. So, 听到他们这个广播原来对某个人原来这么有意义，这个伦敦交通局就决定改回使用这个原本 Oswald 声音的版本 Okay, well, this didn't bring Oswald back, but it brought comfort to his wife. Yes, nothing can bring Oswald back from the dead, but、mm -hmm. it did. Bring or it brought comfort to his wife. It made her feel better. It made her feel at ease. Here we see our last word power word. Bring. Bring is spelled B R I N G. Bring in this case to means to make a certain situation exist. For example, we can say we hope the new president will bring peace to the country. We hope the new president will bring peace to the country. Bring broad broad. You 看过这个 bring 原型，现在就一并把过去形也记起来吧。这个最后文章呢，就说到这个虽然没办法使 Oswald 起死回生 ，bring somebody back， 但是呢，可以让他的老婆带来一些安慰。以前呢，我们学带东西 ，bring your lunch， bring your books 等等具体的东西，无形的东西也可以是带来，比如说安慰啊，带来力量，也可以同样用 bring。像是例句中 bring peace， 就是说希望可以总统可以带为了这个国家带来和。So this was a way for her to keep the memory of her husband alive, and it brought her comfort. Of course, this just means that it made her feel a little bit better. She obviously、right. loved her husband very, very much. I'm sure he loved her a lot too, and this was a way that she could still kind of feel his presence, feel that he was still around,、uh, still watching over her, just by hearing. His voice was enough to bring her some comfort every day. So she's got、Aww. the recording, she's got the CD she can listen to at home. I know people that have、uh, have done this. For example, when loved ones have、uh, sadly passed away, like if they have a message on their answering machine, yeah, they still they will listen to it. Playing it, yeah, they'll keep it. They'll listen to it.、Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes, yeah, it's just something that can bring you comfort when tragic things like this happen, and that's exactly. What's happened in our story? It's a little bit sad, but it's touching、yeah. and happy too at the same time. It's one of those kind of love stories. <laughs> That's the end of the voice of love, but it's not the end of the program. Before we leave you, let's have our wrap up. So we've come to the end of our three-day story, all about the voice of love. Right. What do you think the meaning behind the story? The meaning behind the story,、yeah. I guess, it's that、uh, we all need some way to keep the memory of our loved ones alive. Right.、Uh, of course, when somebody you care about deeply passes away, yeah, you're not just going to forget them. You want to look at old pictures or old movies,、uh, home movies that you took. You want to relive those memories. And I guess this、uh, shows us that it's important to do that, and、uh, that it's healthy to do that. Yeah,、well. and I think it's also trying to tell us that love doesn't just end when the one you loved leaves you. That's right. I think as long as you're keeping those 
memories、in、alive. Mem- yeah. Yeah. As long as you keep them in your mind, then、mm-hmm. they're never truly gone. You can still almost speak to them, and they can still be with you in that way. And some, yeah. And a lot of t- time we think of separation as like a bad thing. Yeah. We think people leaving is nothing but a sad thing. Or sometimes we think like they're just gone. They're just gone. Yeah. But, but that's. But they're not. They're not just gone.、Mm-hmm. We can always find some way. To keep them alive in our memories. Well, we hope you've enjoyed learning all about the voice of love over the past three days. We've enjoyed bringing it to you. True. Until next time, for A Plus English, I'm Joe. And I'm Winnie. Goodbye. Bye.